The Clark family has hired renowned civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump, who also represented the families of both Trayvon Martin and Tamir Rice. And in those cases, the lawsuits filed resulted in out-of-court settlements. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins talked to a trial expert tonight about what we may see if Clark's family takes legal action against the city. Macy? Well, Tony and Christina, the attorney I talked to says it's likely the family will file a case in federal court under a civil rights law. But based on similar shooting cases, he says it's likely that Clark's case will not go to trial. Trial. Show me your hands. Good, good, good. These 20 shots fired at Stefan Clark have sparked national outrage. I can understand from the perspective of the public why it looks very bad. But that's not the way it's going to be viewed in court. It's Attorney John Myers specializes in evidence and criminal trial issues. He says if Clark's family files a lawsuit against the Sacramento Police Department and the city, the officer's state of mind will be a critical factor. In the middle of the night, in a panic situation where somebody's coming at you with what you think is a gun, that's the perspective that the law has to take into consideration. The Clark family has hired Florida-based civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represented the families of Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown. Settlements in similar cases landed in the multi-million dollar range. The law provides that when a person's life is lost, uh, the plaintiff can recover um, for pain and suffering and for the, for the lost future income of that person. But Myers says taking legal action in a case like this is often about more than just the money. Hopefully. Uh, they can find ways to reduce the likelihood that this will happen uh, in the future, but that there's no guarantee that things will change. Stand up, fight back. Sacramento protesters angry that another black man is dead at the hands of police. But Myers says the only way to prove race was a factor in Clark's death is if the officers had said that during the shooting. It appears to all the world that probably the dumbest thing those police officers did was say hit the mute button because that just looks like what do we have to hide. Myers says it could take months to reach a settlement in a case like this, but with the city under the pressure of a national spotlight, city leaders may want to resolve this as quickly as possible.